Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabby and today I am back with the second part of my massive perfume haul. I've gotten here eight other fragrances uh, that recently I added to my collection. If you didn't watch part one, I'm gonna leave the link in the description box. Check that video out as well because I discovered so many new releases, amazing fragrances, just perfumes that you need to know about because they're just truly amazing. So. In this video, we're going to have eight fragrances. Like always, you know me. I like to mix things up. I like to have some um, freshes with some gourmands, with some floral perfumes. We're going to have, like always, a little bit of everything. So, before we start, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and now, let's jump in. All right, we are going to start this haul with a brand new release from Unio Inomad, and that is Sugar Leather. You can see that I already put a dent in this uh, bottle because I really, really like this perfume. Um, they came out with Sugar Leather, Leather and then Love at First Sight. I've tested both of them during Exans. I liked Love at First uh, Sight. It's, it's a very, I don't know, it's a very feminine, it's a very elegant, it's a very bridal wedding type of scent. And I liked it which just doesn't represent me. Sugar leather, on the other hand, it's absolutely amazing. Don't be afraid of the name, leather. It has some leather, but it's not, in my opinion, leather is not the main note in this fragrance. Let me tell you about the notes. We have cinnamon, amiris, leather, caramel, and labdanum. You are getting this smooth leather, it is there, but it's not super intense. And then you're getting the most gourmand cinnamon note. The cinnamon, it's sugary, it's like caramelized cinnamon. Yes, sugary caramelized cinnamon with some um, soft, very soft leather. This is what I'm getting. This perfume might ne not necessarily be for the spring and summer. It's more like a fall and winter, but it's an amazing scent. It's not 100% gourmand, okay, because it's not just like sweets, vanilla, caramel. It's not just that. Obviously, it has that leather base, um, but it's definitely going to that gourmand territory. It's definitely a unisex fragrance, maybe leaning a bit feminine just because the cinnamon, it's sweet. It's like caramelized cinnamon. It's a sweet, sweet cinnamon with some uh, very smooth leather. Beautiful fragrance. The lasting power and the projection are amazing. Right now, even though it's May, it's still cold outside. I'm going on another holiday because I need another holiday. I cannot cope with this weather anymore, okay? But this perfume in this weather that I have right now, I have like, I don't know, 10 degrees, something like that. Celsius. I'm talking Celsius. Um, this is just amazing and i know it just has something sexy about it you know it don't smell just like cinnamon it's, don't think it's just that it's not just that it's just sexy it's i don't know like my reaction i told you i've tasted love at first sight and i liked it and then when they gave us sugar leather to test my reaction was just like Whoo, what is this when it's released i need this in my collection it's amazing uh, so yeah, I have for Unu Inomad, I have a coupon code as well. Um, love their, um, their fragrances, honestly. Simple packaging, magnetic cap. They, they do amazing, amazing perfumes. You know how much I love other fragrances from Unu Inomad. This one might be my favorite now. I'm not sure. It's in between this one and uh, Jardin du Misfa. Like, it's really in between this one and that one. But it's such, such an amazing fragrance, especially for the price. Like... You'd expect, like, if this was created by another brand, you would definitely see this one for, like, 250 But it's not. It's way, way cheaper than that. Uh, so the first scent that we're having here is from Uni Nomad, and that is Sugar Leather. All right, let's move on to a fragrance that maybe it's a bit more appropriate for the springtime, and that is from L'Orchestre Parfum Bouquet Encore. I am obsessed with this fragrance. It's another white floral perfume, yes. But it's different, okay? Bouquet and Core is probably one of the sexiest white floral fragrances that you, you can find. 
it's so good like so good let me tell you the notes okay we have super rose jasmine pepper vanilla and musk you are definitely getting the jasmine and the super rose and yes you are getting the pepper I would say it's, it doesn't smell the same by any means, but I would put this one in the same family with Passessoir from BDK. You know, that one is again, like a sweet uh, white floor fragrance with some pink pepper. I, I do believe that one has pink, pink, pink pepper as well. Like I'm pretty sure it has, but this is just so, I don't know, like the flowers are sweet. It is floral, but it's not just like too floral. And then that pepper just makes it like sexy and just inviting. And the pepper is not peppery to the point where like it singles your nose. No, it's not that peppery. But you can definitely smell something else in there. You can, you can definitely smell like something sexy in there. It's amazing. And the difference is, they smell different. But again, they're like in the same family. If you like passe soir, if you like that type of DNA, but you feel that it doesn't last because that one doesn't last on me you know how much i love it but it just doesn't last on me this one is way way um more long lasting than passessoir they don't smell similar by any means but again give me a similar vibe like white flowers with pepper beautiful beautiful fragrance this is gonna be amazing springtime maybe summer evenings as well because that pepper it just i know gives it some gives this perfume something sexy something alluring something is beautiful it's a beautiful white floral fragrance uh check this one out lorca Le parfum in general has like amazing amazing fragrances but if you're looking for white floral perfumes for perfume definitely check this one out uh bouquet and co from lorca Le parfum let's move on to a fragrance that i actually I've tested it because people were talking about it on Instagram, YouTube, everywhere. I got a sample, loved it, got a bottle, loved the bottle, but I was just not using it. And then I ended up selling that perfume. Now it's back in my collection. This is uh, Nishane 100 Silent Ways. Basically, when I went uh, to Exans, I met Esther from Esther in Wonderland and why declutter um, 100 Silent Ways? Well, well, I decluttered this one because I just felt like the DNA, I don't know, the scent profile was not out there enough, was quite, I don't know, simplistic. I don't, I didn't feel like you can recognize this perfume. You know, if someone is wearing it, I don't think that you're gonna go, oh, that's 100 Silent Ways. I don't know why. I was just like in a mood at that time where I wanted every single perfume in my collection to be very, I don't know, original, very different. And this perfume, I don't know, it was just a bit too safe. But then again, I went to Exans, I met Esther, and I was like, oh my God, you smell amazing. And then she didn't tell me what she's wearing. I was like, are you wearing Nishane 100 Silent Ways? And she was like, yes. I was like, I generally recognized this scent profile like immediately. So I was like, okay, fine. I need a bottle. Like I need a bottle. So now I have it again. Um, I'm going to tell you the notes again. Okay. We have Super Rose, uh, Mandarin, Peach, Jasmine, Gardenia, Oris, Vanilla, Sandalwood, and Vetiver. This is basically, do I have fragrances here? No. This is basically a beautiful vanilla with some white flowers you're getting a fruitiness in the background for some reason it's not just me the vanilla in this perfume reminds me of the vanilla in black opium from Yves Saint Laurent this is definitely way more refined it's not as sweet it's 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 different okay it's more like a floral take on that type of vanilla I know that black opium is mainly a coffee scent but you're getting some vanilla as well so I feel like that's why I decluttered it I was like I don't I don't know like i don't want to i don't want people to think that i smell like black opium because that scent doesn't really has the best reputation if you ask me um so i didn't want to wear like a fragrance that's expensive and then to smell like isan or black opium that it's also expensive but it doesn't really smell that expensive um if that makes any sense but then when i smelled it on Esther, i was like this is amazing are you wearing 100 silent ways and she was like yes i was like 
Silly Me Why Declutter This Perfume. So now it's back in the collection and so, so happy. I, I'm just, I'm so happy that I brought it back, especially now because it's spring, so I can wear it. And I, I believe when I purchased this one the first time, it was either like fall or beginning of fall. So that's why I didn't really wear it. But now it's going to stay. It's going to stay in the collection. I really, really like it. Um, yeah. Nishane, 107 ways. And let's move on to a more summery fragrance, and that is the newest release from Emi Khalif, Gin Tonic. Basically, they messaged me, uh, they, they were asking if I want to try this fragrance. It was not released yet, nobody knew about it, and I was like, I'm a Texans, you are here as well, so we can meet and I can test it. Um, I went in there, tested Gin Tonic, actually tested Red Colorado as, as well. Listen, that fragrance is too masculine for me, but it might be the sexiest male fragrance that I've ever smelled. It's incredible. It's not for me. It's way too masculine for me. But on a guy, that fragrance is going to be amazing. Now let's talk about gin tonic because this one is going to be amazing on a guy or a woman as well. Because let's spray it in here. It's so good. It literally... Gin, to gin tonic makes sense. It smells exactly like a gin tonic. Let me tell you the notes. We have um, orange, lime, ginger, peppermint, pink pepper, cedar, nutmeg, lily of the valley, orange blossom, vetiver, musk, sandalwood, amber, and moss. You are definitely getting the lime, orange, a little bit of ginger. You're getting the uh, peppermint. It's a bit minty. It's super refreshing. It has, like I said, it has, it's a bit minty, but not too much. Like minty as in a cocktail, not as in mint chewing gum. Like don't be afraid of that. It's definitely a unisex fragrance. Maybe, just maybe leaning slightly masculine, but you can definitely wear it. Like I will definitely, definitely wear this one. If you go on a holiday, if you go somewhere that you know is going to be boiling hot and you need something refreshing and just your typical citrus fragrance is not doing it for you, check this one out. Like, honestly, it's so refreshing. And also for freshy, it's a strong fragrance, which I was surprised because, you know, usually freshies don't really stay on the skin or don't really project. This one, no complaints so far. I really like it. My, my boyfriend, he's obsessed. Like, he's absolutely obsessed. Basically, he kind of took the bottle for himself. It was like, um, no, we are sharing it. Like, when we go on holiday, we are sharing it, okay? Uh, but yeah, it's such, such a good summer fragr fragrance without being just another plain citrus fragrance, you know? Like, we have a billion of them. That ginger, that peppermint. Like I said, it has something minty. Usually, like, when I see mint in a fragrance, I'm like, oh, no. But no, it just smells like, it smells like a gin tonic. It smells like a cocktail, like a very, very refreshing cocktail. Absolutely amazing. Check this one out. Especially, like I said, if you're looking for something super, super refreshing and unique, not just your typical lime, like lime, lemon, orange type of fragrance, check this one out. Gin tonic from M. Mikalev. Right, let's move on to some gourmands, like proper, proper gourmands. The first one that we're having here is from uh, Byron, and this is the Chronic Rouge Extreme. You know how much I love Mula Mula, you know that I love the Chronic, and now I have Rouge Extreme. This is... Look at that on Automizer, first of all. This is such a good fruity gourmand. Like... Uh, this creamy goodness uh, let me tell you the notes first okay uh we have the chronic rouge extreme uh chantilly cream raspberry pear melon cinnamon spices amber sandalwood patchouli and musk i know it says raspberry raspberry pear melon but I'm mainly getting like raspberry and strawberry for some reason and i'm definitely getting that chantilly cream it literally smells like whipped cream with raspberry and strawberry mainly. But don't think like, I don't know, it's like the whipped cream smells like strawberry. It's not strawberry and whipped cream. No, it's like flavored whipped cream that smells like strawberry. It's 
beautiful you're getting just a tiny bit of that cinnamon and then the dry down is not necessarily that fruity anymore and that sandalwood starts to i don't know to be more present but the sandalwood it's also very very creamy so you really have this like extremely thick creamy fragrance with this like fruity nuances it's beautiful i don't know why it doesn't say strawberry because i'm doing this many strawberry but it's such a delicious, beautiful fragrance. It's not full-on gourmand. I will not say it's a full-on gourmand just because it's not super sweet. Like for me, gourmand needs to be like super sweet, you know? It is not. Especially that right down, like I said, uh, that fruitiness kind of starts to fade away and you're getting more of that sandalwood. But ne nevertheless, it's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. I really like Byron in general. Um, and yeah, this one, is this my favorite? Not sure. Mula Mula is still my favorite. Probably this is second place and then the Chronic, just the original third place. Uh, but yeah, it's it's such such a beautiful fragrance. The Chronic Rouge Extreme from Byron. Now who's ready for some like proper gourmands? Like this is one of the most gourmand fragrances that I have in my collection. We have from uh, Lorenzo Battaglia. I think it's Pasalia, uh, Van Ecstasy. This was a blind buy. They were at Exxon's, but I couldn't find them. I generally couldn't find them. Um, and I really wanted to try this one. And in the, end, in the end, I just purchased a bottle. I was like, you know what? Let me just purchase a bottle. The bottles, by the way, when I saw the bottles online, I was like, oh, they're, okay. they're okay. But in reality, they're actually like, very very nice i know like the camera doesn't do justice for this bottle in reality that's super nice now the fragrance this might be a new favorite vanilla for me like it's incredible but it's also incredible sweet let me tell you the notes we have four type of vanillas okay four different type of vanilla vanilla again white flowers caramel agarwood Vanilla extract, tonka bean, and then black vanilla pods. It's just vanilla. It's vanilla and caramel, okay? Um, I don't know if I want this to be the scent of the day because it's like that strong. So I know that like just one spray is going to do a lot. This vanilla, it's so thick and so sweet. Like... Yes, we have lots of other vanillas. We have Epico, we have Escape Gourmand, we have like lots and lots of other uh, uh, vanillas. Still has a smell like Jusette Accident La Vanille, but it has like the same type of vanilla as Vanilla from Mazzolari. Um, again, Vanille Chanel from Epico, that type, Escape Gourmand, that type of vanilla. But it is not musky at all, okay? Though all of those have something musky in them. And it's just super, super thick and concentrated. It's like vanilla caramel. It generally has like this like super thick and dense syrup texture. This is what I'm getting with it. And then it's something else in the background. So it's not just vanilla. It might be that agarwood. Don't think. I don't smell any flowers, to be honest. Tsonka bean, not sure. Might be that agarwood because... It just has something slightly dark and sexy in the background, but it's just, you can barely smell it, but it's there. It just makes this vanilla different than the other vanillas. It's so good. Like, it's so, so good. But be prepared. Be ready because this fragrance is strong and this fragrance is extremely, extremely sweet. I'm in love. I'm obsessed. Like, what can I tell you? I'm absolutely, like, I'm obsessed with this perfume so happy that i purchased it i actually got some samples of other fragrances and i'm gonna feature them in another video but for now i'm super super happy with my purchase you have to test this one you generally generally have to test this one i know there are a billion vanillas on the market but this is just incredible um van ecstasy definitely definitely you need to check this one out because it's incredible two more perfumes uh, Gourmands again. The first one again I discovered it at Exans and I had to get a bottle. Uh, Nero Cacao from Zero Molecole. 
I think it's Zero Molecole, I think so. It's an Italian brand. Um, this smells like a bounty, a bounty bar, okay? The nose might make you think that it's just chocolate or it's just cacao, but no, it's a bounty bar. The notes are chocolate, orange peel, tiari flower, coconut, and vanilla. I'm not really getting any orange. I'm getting chocolate and coconut. And especially in the opening and in the mid, it generally smells exactly like a bouncy bar. And I'm obsessed with bouncy. I love that combination, like coconut and chocolate. It's amazing. I love this one. The dry down, I wish, I wish that coconut would stay a bit longer. I feel like in the dry down, it's more, more like this um, chocolate vanilla scent. But nevertheless, it's amazing. It's beautiful. I've tasted other fragrances that they have. They have amazing gourmands, okay? But as soon as they sprayed this one on um, on the paper, I was like, that smells like, that smells like, and they were like, a bounty bar? I was like, yes, yes, a bounty bar. It's amazing. You have to test it. Um, I purchased this one, super happy with it. It's just like a gourmand that you can probably wear like all year round because it's not too thick, but it's not too light. Um, yeah, it's just like a fun gourmand to have in your collection. Nero Cacao, beautiful, again, cacao and uh, coconut. And the last one that we have in here is Le Du Biscuit uh, from Shabu. Again, I tested this one at Exans. Uh, I went with Hailey in there actually, and she has a bottle of it. I think she has a bottle of this one. And she told me, you have to taste that fragrance. I was like, okay, okay, I'm gonna taste it. And I tested it and I felt in love. So I had to purchase it. Like the name suggests, this is um, milk and biscuit. Uh, the notes, there are only three notes listed. We have gourmand notes, caramel and vanilla. I would say it generally smells like you dipped a biscuit in milk. It is sweet, but it's not overly sweet. Like, don't think it's going to be this, like, super thick. No. It generally smells like you dipped a, a biscuit in milk. Like, sweet biscuit, but not so sweet. And the milk is not scratchy. It's not... It's just... It's just a beautiful... Almost like... You know, th this perfume, because it's not very strong. That's the only thing. Uh, that super affordable, especially for a niche company, that are very affordable. Uh, but I'll say this is more like... If you have to go somewhere and you can't really wear like loud fragrances, but you still want to smell good and you still like you love gourmands, this is going to be perfect. It just feels like, I know your skin smells amazing, but in the same time you smell gourmand. I know it's, it, it's just such a beautiful fragrance. It's not, like I said, a thick gourmand. It's not in, in your face gourmand. It's just, I know, an everyday, all year round, any occasion, uh, type of fragrance that just smells good that's it like who doesn't like milk and biscuits like who doesn't like that it's it's great it's amazing uh, so yeah the last scent that we're having here is from Shabu and this one is Le Du Biscuit and that was it for today guys that was it please let me know in the, in the comments down below um, obviously if you tested any of these fragrances if you like them if you don't and all of that and yeah that was it for today thank you so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to give that big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and like always i'm gonna see you in my next one Bye bye